no longer a slave fear. to fear. The Lord. And singing this song, we have to sing it with reality. We have to sing that there is no fear in us. And I know this morning fear fill a lot of child of God. Because of the pandemic, numbers are decreasing. Men are losing their jobs and the family get frustrated. The head of the house don't know what to do. It's turning anger. Harsh words. But there's a comfort this morning. Yes. I am no longer a slave to fear. I'm a child of God. Yeah. I am a child yes, of God. God. Yes, Lord. Does not give me the spirit of fear, but of some love. Yes. Hallelujah. Of a sound mind. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to you, God. I thank God yeah. for my real thing. For the first few musicians. Hallelujah to the love of God. We just want to greet those of you that are watching by live stream. May God continue to bless you and continue to support us as we do our best. Uh, praise God. As some writer said, I'm doing my best to make it in. Amen. But we're coming up on the rough side of the mountain. Yes. But we're still doing our best to make it in. Praise God's spirit with us. Um, pray for you and your family. Um, pray for health and strength. And God will bless you, your jobs, your finances, and those that are doing education programs. And God bless you that you may succeed and excel. God bless. At this time, praise God. I'm going to ask the evangelist just to come and anoint me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want to ask the saints to pray for me. Praise God. And after we pray, I ask. If I don't do this, do the saints. Pray for me.
God for remembering us in spite of every circumstance. Season. Praise God. We want to give God thanks for the ministerial still. The soft with you light, praise God. And the musician, we thank you. And Christy, we thank you. Praise God. We thank God for everyone. Praise God. And we thank God for troubling the water one more time. Thank yeah. somebody just to glorify God. Can we glorify God? Praise God. Yeah. Four more went down in, in the name, name of Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Yeah. The water baptism. We thank God. God. Shall we praise the Lord? Are you still ready to praise God? Then we just bless the water for three more candidates. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? We give God all the honor and the glory for troubling the water. Praise God. We claim them. Oh God Almighty. God is good. God is good. Oh God Almighty. I thank God for these pandemic babies. That are given, oh God, true light is given birth. Amen. Praise God. So we baptized six already, and we have three more to go. And we're just going to pray, hallelujah, that God will continue to trouble the water. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? We glorify God. So we just want the brethren just to pray for those new members and those that uh, give their life to the Lord. Well, praise God, those four that give their life to the Lord this week, that God will continue to bless them and strengthen them, and that we will continue to be a source of support to them. Shall we praise the Lord? What a mighty God we serve. I said, what a mighty God we serve. Praise God. I am no longer a slave to fear. I do not fear. I will obey, but I don't fear. Bible said we must not fear he that can only destroy your body, but rather fear he that destroy both body and soul. The devil cannot destroy our soul unless we allow him to. Praise God. So I don't fear, but rather to obey the voice of God. We thank God for those of you that is here with us, praise God, and those of you that are viewing God continue to bless you. Uh, God Almighty, I asked God, I said, God, what do you want me to say to your people? And, and I keep on searching because I, I, I'm not a theological preacher who can come and well put a message together. And, and, and if I lost the paper, then I lost my message. I'm, I'm not one of those kind of preachers. I am a Holy Ghost preacher. Because the church is an unclapping church. It's a foot stomping, a tongue speaking, Holy Ghost sanctified church. Oh, praise God. So I always want God to give me a word to give to somebody. If it's even one out of the ten, we'll get a word from the Lord and get comfort from the word of the Lord. That's how I preach. I said, God, give me something to give your people. And sometimes we get some stuff and it doesn't taste good to us, but it's good for the body. Somebody said, Buckley's doesn't taste good. It tastes awful, but it works. And most of us never take a good look at. 
offering. And, and the offering there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. That Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and, 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 and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and cleaned the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went unto the place of which God told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted up his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide he here with us. And I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again. I and the Lord will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood uh, of the burnt offering and laid it up on Isaac his son and took the fire in his hand. Oh God, am I your fear? Oh God, am I like the fire? Already shut up in here. And Abraham took the fire in his hand and a knife. And they went both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham his father and said, My father. And he said, Here am I, my son. And he said, Behold the fire, oh my God, and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb. Can somebody repeat that for me? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. And they came to a place which God told him of. And Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order and bound Isaac his son and laid him on the altar up on the wood. And Abraham stretched forth his hand and took the knife to slay his son. And the angel of the Lord called unto him out of heaven and said Abraham Abraham and he said here I'm high and he said lay not thy hand up on the Lord neither do thou anything unto him for now I know that thou fearest God seeing thou hast not withheld thy son thy only son from me and Abraham lift up his eyes and looked. And behold, behind him a rock caught in the thicket by his horns. And Abraham went and took the rock and offering up for a burnt offering instead of his son. Shall we praise the Lord here? Shall we praise the Lord? Praise God. We have to understand when we're talking about God and when I, we say, God, I love you. When they say, God, I will go the last mile of the way. God, I will do what you want me to do. We go as far as we sell a song and we say, I am not my own. I belong to you. No, glory be to God. But there are times when we are sure if we really belong to God. When the testing comes and the tempting comes, oh God Almighty, we want to wonder, am I really a child of God? Sometimes God will wonder, are you really my son? Are you really my God? So I want to take a look at Abraham here. Abraham was steadfast in the God that he served. Can somebody praise God here? So the Bible said that God told Abraham that he should offer up his only son Isaac. Now you may wonder why God told Abraham to offer up his only son Isaac when there was issues. 
sin before Isaac. You have to understand that Ishmael was the woman of the son of the planet woman. And God promised Sarah that she would bring forth a son. She would have a child. So God preserved Sarah's womb for that particular time when he wanted to bring in existence Isaac. So Abraham loved Ishmael because Ishmael was his son. Yes. But God spoke to Sarah and said, Sarah, oh, I'm going to visit you. I hear God to bring forth and the Bible said that Sarah laughed at the saying of God. And God looked at Sarah and said, Is there anything too hard for God to do? I want to ask the church this morning. I want to ask those by last stream. Is there anything too hard for your God to do this morning? So Sarah laughed at the situation. Oh, but God knew that in true time that Sarah was going to bring forth the promised son. Sometimes it seems like a stream that our blessing is going to flow from a shut up. And there is nothing coming from the stream of blessing. But God shut it up for a reason and for his purpose. So I want you to look at our Abraham here. Abraham was an idol worshiper. His father was an idol worshiper. He grew up know how to worship idol. But God said, I'm going to change something in this family. I'm going to call out Abraham from among his kingdom. And he said, Abraham, I want you to do travel to a place that you don't know. But I will be there. So Abraham stepped up my faith. Oh God, by the word of God. So here we have Abraham now, the same God that took him out of Isaac worshiping. The same God that blessed him. When Isaac said, Now, I want you to offer up Isaac as a sacrifice. So Abraham obeyed God. And Abraham get Isaac and said, Listen, we're going up in the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> 
the only defense that a lamb have is to run for his life. You never see a lamb put up a fight. Oh God, as soon as they hear a sound, they will be moving. And there is something about the lamb. I did a little research. They said the lamb, they are very sheep. They are very intelligent. They stick together and when one cry out, all of them know the cry and know that one is crying. Where is the church when one member is crying? Somebody walk past as if there is no tears that shed it. But I come to tell you, in true life, we gotta help our tears away. We gotta help somebody and cry. You see, when God is going to bless you, it disguises your blessing. 
He wants us to totally trust in Him. So from the moment Abraham uh, saw that he was obedient to God, the wrong was already made available. Before Abraham gets there, God will provide. So Abraham exercised his faith again. God will provide himself a lamb. Shall we praise the Lord? So now, that lamb represents Jesus Christ. It represents Jesus Christ who would come and die on the cross for our sins. It represents the shedding of the blood that would come on Calvary. Shall we praise the Lord? So we're going to go to the Word of God. Yeah, we're going in St. John. Glory to you, God, St. John chapter 1. And we're going to look at verse 29. Shall we praise the Lord? Oh, shall we praise the Lord? St. John 1, 29. Praise God. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. St. John 1, 29. What St. John 1, 29 declare? Praise God. And St. John 1, 29 declare. It said, the next day, John said Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the Lamb of God which taketh away the sins of the world. So the Lord will provide himself a lamb. So when he said Jesus Christ, he said, This is my begotten son. Of whom I'm well pleased. Is God pleased with you this morning? Hallelujah. Is God pleased with us? Jesus. Is God pleased with us? Jesus. Is He pleased with our meditation? Jesus. Is He pleased with what processing from within? Is God pleased with us this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the same John 1. Now verse 36 declare again uh, and looking upon Jesus as he walked John declare again behold the love of God Jesus Christ died for you and for me Jesus Christ died that you might have life and have it more abundantly shall we praise the Lord shall we praise the Lord praise God uh, we got to understand uh, that, that when we're serving God, we, we have to serve Him with everything in us. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So when He said the Lord will provide Himself for that, and I look and I look and I see Isaac, oh God Almighty, I said, if Sarah had ever known about this, what a something between him and Abraham. Are you crazy? You're going to offer up our blessing, my one child. Oh my God Almighty, after 90 years waiting, and you want to give it up in 14 years? I, I no, know my, know my husband. I should have said, No, my Lord, this can't work. It's my only son, my one and only son. And But you are not thinking about who gave you that son when you were 90 years of age. You weren't thinking about that. You are not thinking that the same God we said, offer him up back to me as a sacrifice. The same God can give you twin and triplets. He will multiply. That's the God we serve. But I know a lot of God. I can't just imagine my evangelist. One son the son can't even cry. I, I, I should not run. And God was said, and I love this little boy, can I call him a prophet? I said, Pastor Freddy, I don't care about what this prophet thing, you know. This is my only son. But you're not thinking about that God is the one that keeping that son for a purpose. You're not thinking about, oh God sent his only son so that you and I might have life. That you and I can be forgiven of the sins that we have committed. We are not thinking about what other people go through so that we can get a blessing. We are just thinking about ourselves. 
Sometimes I do some crazy things. My wife just look at me and walk up. I say, I am the head of the house. I am the head of the church body. Christ is the head of the church interested in me, the flock. And I said, you can't understand what I do. You will never. Because the way God deals with me, he does not deal with you the same. Amen. And she does some crazy things too that I don't understand. But it's always work out. Shall we praise the Lord? So God uses us in a special way. Glory to God. So when it comes out to kingdom business, leave it to me and God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. He said, if God said so, let it be so. Amen. So Abraham, I figured up early, you know, some things that we do, we have to do it early. We can't make our spouse know. Because if there's no trouble, praise God. Abraham get up early before Sarah is going tell Sarah was a late waker. Praise God. Abraham get up early and took away Isaac. And I said, Sarah, I'm going to get up and try to treat him because by the time she get there and when she don't cry, she dehydrated and then had a desert place. So we praise the Lord. Because what? My one son, my only son, where you going with him now? My God, and he works in shape over here, so wood and knife involved. And fire? My God Almighty, he said, this is it. But God is a miracle working. Yes, yes, yes. You got to understand that you will ask us to do some crazy things yes. just to prove us. Amen. Sometimes some folks test you. Mm -hmm. Some folks test you. Yes. Sometimes they will have it and they just test you and say, can I have this? Mm -hmm. And just to see how you will react. Sometimes you have something and they say, I like this. And all of them say it's like it. And you protect it so much. And yet they have something much nicer than what you have. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? God is an awesome God. Yes, He is. God is an awesome God. Yes, he is. So you have to understand about the Lamb of God here. So Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. God will provide himself a lamb. So Jesus Christ is the spotless lamb of Calvary. When Israel was coming out of bondage, out of Egypt, he represent the Passover lamb, represent Jesus Christ. So there's no way we can get deliverance unless the shedding of the blood. Oh God, so when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? God is awesome, God. So now we got to understand. Oh, praise God. Uh, uh, yeah, we learn in Hebrews here. Hebrews chapter 11. Praise God. I think maybe I wrote it. Say, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out, not knowing where he went. By faith he sojourned. Come on, church. By faith he was walk on by faith. The church of the living God walked by faith and not by sight. Can we praise the Lord? Shall we glorify God? We walk by faith and not by sight. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? So now we got to depend. Now look at this now. We got to look. Now I want to just touch a little bit back and and, and what I spoke about last Sunday when I spoke about how oh God changed the method of things. And you have to understand that John said, "Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world." And you got to understand that a Lamb needs a shepherd. Oh God Almighty! So how could He? And shepherd, when the lamb need a shepherd, you have to understand that we are the sheep of this pastor. You have to understand that he is the good shepherd. Oh God, so you, you, you see how the method have been changed here. So from a lamb to a shepherd. Oh God, when you humble yourself in the presence of God, God will bring forth changes. And God will elevate you from lower stage and to higher grade. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? So David said, the Lord is my shepherd. So David know him and his shepherd. I shall not want. Shall we praise the Lord here? For he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
uh, prior request. Hallelujah. We just got to pray for you and your family at this time. Hallelujah to the love of God. And I believe that God will bring a change in your life. I believe that God, the spotless Lamb of Calvary, will make changes in your family. Eternal God, the everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace. Lord Jesus Christ, we honor those prayers, requests, Lord God, that we have received by social media. We pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that these families right now. Father God, Heavenly Father, they have already confirmed that they get blessings. Oh God Almighty, Heavenly Father, and we thank you, Lord God, for making way. We thank you for those that are faithful, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, and making quiet prayer requests. Oh God, because they have seen the change in your life. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, Heavenly Father, for troubling the water one more time. Father God, we're going to pray for those three more than, oh God Almighty. <laughs> Oh God, we pray, Lord God Almighty, that there would be even more than three when we're ready to go again, Lord God. Father, we thank you, Lord God, for remembering us, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we thank you, Lord God, and the Father, for those that are here, Lord God, we pray that you continue to bless us and strengthen us. Father God, we pray, Lord God, for the sick and afflicted ones. Oh God, we pray for those that are seeking jobs. We pray for those, Lord God Almighty, Heavenly Father, that, oh God, is not well in the body, those that are not well in the spirit, oh God, those that are troubling in your mind, I pray right now, Lord God, that you will bring peace, dear God. Father God, if it's in your time, we need to show you need you, oh Lord God. Bless each and every one of us, dear Jesus Christ, and the fathers who are about to go, go with us to our sacred place in the world, Lord God. Bless you, dear God. Father, remember, oh God Almighty, the families, oh God, dear Jesus Christ. I don't have to call the name, you know, dear Jesus, and you know this situation. And I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will just step in, oh God, and make a way when there is no other way. We thank you, Lord. Father God, we pray for the water this time. Father God, I pray right now, Lord Jesus Christ, that you will just bless this water once again, Lord God. And we thank you for the souls that are coming. And we pray that they will continue to come. Oh God Almighty, save such as to be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Bless us now, Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God, we want to give God thanks for one of you. And for those of you that have the desire to contribute financially to this ministry, yes, we still keep the doors open. We still have to pay. We don't pressure you. Uh, we lift our faith towards God. Uh, but if there's any of you out there uh, to live stream and you want to contribute, you can visit our website at www.chulagapostolichurch.ca and you will see the donation box and you can just click on it and you can make a donation or if you wish you can do an e-transfer to TLA Church at live.ca so if you go on the website you will see the email address here that you can make your contribution and I want to just give God thanks by faith for your contribution hallelujah now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, the faithful fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, grace remain and abide with us all. Let Jesus come. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Amen.